All right, guys, welcome back to this engine build. Today we're going to be trying to put a helicoil. It really ain't a helicoil. This comes from AutoZone. Helicoil is a brand name, but I think it's pretty much called that. But it's a thread repair. And this one happens to be 5 16 by 18. And it calls for a uh, 21 64 drill bit. So luckily, I was able to find one of these at the local hardware store. And this is the hole we're going to be working on right here. As you can see, it's, uh, I don't remember if I uh, broke a bolt off in there or what, but uh, it's pretty rough. And I could use a square bore holly on here. It would, it's made for either a uh, spread bore or a square bore. But I really want to put that uh, quadra jet on here, so I'm going to have to fix this if I can. If I can, I'm going to have to go with a holly. And, uh, this is a little bit rough. It's going to be filed down on top, too. So the first thing I want to do is try to drill down in here and clean this hole out. And then we'll use this kit to try to put a thread back in it. All right, I'm going to leave it in the box for a little bit more stability. This thing don't really fit. It's got a hump in the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see from that camera angle. You can see that RTV that's on there from where it had done. So it don't really fit good. It's laying flat, so I'm gonna leave it where it's at right there. I could do it on the on the engine, but take the risk of getting metal shavings down in this uh, manifold and then you can't really do nothing with them. Like it is now, I'm going to probably get some in there, but I can uh, always blow it out. So you really want to make sure this thing's level as possible. And But like I said, there's really no easy way of doing that. Stick the tap into the handle. This thing's, like I said, it's a little bit oblong. So this is different than the helicoil. On that, on the helicoil, you have to, you have to get. Uh, the handle made for a tap because their handles don't really have a built-in thing for you. All right. So we got her threaded. Now I need to blow this out again. Alright. And I did get a little bit a little bit lower on that drill than I meant to. I can I can tell, but uh, the next thing you want to do is it comes with these these little thread hickeys, and this tool's got a slot on it. Let's see, and so you want to thread, you want to stick the end of this thing into that into that slot right there. And then you'll just thread it in. Now sometimes you have to cut these threads off if, it, if they're not long enough. I mean, if they're too long. But this one, I don't think we'll have no issue with it. Now it's, the threads are in. Now I've got to take a little uh, screwdriver and pop that little tang off. So I'm just going to use a little screwdriver and a hammer. Stick down here on this tang. And 
and give it a good whack and it'll break that tang off. And then I'll blow it out again. Get that tang out of there. Just like that. To focus. You want to make sure your threads are a little bit recessed. And now it's ready to thread a bolt in there. Notice the tang's gone. I'll put a little light on it. The tang's gone out of the center. And if you don't break that tang off, you're going to bottom out with your bolt and you'll uh, kind of mess your threads up a little bit. Now, when I, I'm not sure I went as deep as deep as the old one, or deeper than the old one. But uh, anyway, I can't really damn tell. that's it so now we'll clean this up and get ready to mount it and that'll be the next video so stay tuned for that and thanks for watching